Here we are in section 5-1, exercises numbers 1 through 6. It says find the volume of a rectangular solid. So that's like a, a box when the width, height, and length are given. So the formula, hey, it gives us a formula here. Very, very nice. was hoping it would give us the formula there. Okay, it says volume equals length times width times height, LWH. So LWH is going to be 4 times 2.5 times 3. All right, let's do that. 4 times 2.5. Let's take and go 2.5 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. So we got a 10.0. So that's 10 times 3. So it's going to be a 30. Now notice it is inches times inches times inches. Inches times inches times inches would be inches to the third power, also known as a cubic inch. So a cubed. Okay. Next one. Number two. LWH is going to be 7 times 4 times 2.8. I'll put that in parentheses. All right. So 7 times 4 is 28 times 2.8. 28 times 2.8, 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6 is a 22. Uh, put a 0 there for that second row, 2 times 8 is 16, carry a 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 4, 8, 7, and 1 decimal place. So it's going to be 78.4. Now, in this case, we have a feet times a feet times a feet. That will be feet to the third power or cubic feet. And that's how volumes are measured. Next one, number three, LWH, that's 7.2 times 9 times 3. All right, 9 times 3 is 27. So we get. 7.2 times 27. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 times 1, 7 is 49. Plus 1 is 50. Put a 0 there for the second row. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 7 is 14. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 0 plus 4 is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 1. And 1 decimal place. So it's going to be 194.4 meters times meters times meters, that's meters to the third power, or a cubic meter. Okay, find the area of a trapezoid. So now the trapezoid, remember, is an odd looking thing. It looks kind of like that with a capital big base here and a little base there, but it gives us the formula, so we can do that. Area is going to be one half uh, H, which is seven times big B, plus the little b, which is, uh, let's put those in, 15 plus 10. So 1 half times 7, that's 7 halves times 25. 25 times 7 divided by 2. So 25 times 7, let's do that one first. 25 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. And we're going to divide that by 2, so 2 into 175 gives us 2 goes into 17, 8 times 16, subtract, we get a 1, carry the 5 down, 2 goes into 15, 7 times, 7 times 2 is 14, subtract, and we get a 1, let's put a decimal there, so we come out 87.5, 87. .5. 87 0.5, uh, no inches, meters, or no units to worry about, so that would be the area. Good. Uh, number five. Big B is 21, so we're going to stick that guy in there. Little B is 11, and H is 3, so we get 1 half times 3 times 21 plus 11. So that's 32 times 3 times 1 half. I'm going to do make this so it's a little bit easier. We're going to take 1 half times 32 first. 1 half times 32 is 16. So we're, we end up with 16 times 3. And we get uh, 18, carry the 1. 
3 times 1 is 4 plus 1. Uh, oh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So this is going to equal 48. Now we could have done 1 half times 3, which would be 3 halves, and then take 3 times 32 would be 96, divided by 2, but we'd get 48. And again, we have no inches or feet or meters to worry about. Okay, last one. We have 1 half times height, which is 10. Oops wrote the wrong thing there, and then 19 plus 6. 1 half times 10, oh, that's nice. That's a 5 times 25. 5 times 25, let's go ahead and do that guy over here, times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 125. It's going to equal 125 feet, inches, we don't have the units, so just 125. Good.